right, all right. Welcome to Gateway Church. How you doing? Y'all, y'all are ready. Y'all are here and ready. Well, hey, so glad you're here at Night of Worship. This is gonna be amazing. Our first Night of Worship for 2023. Are you ready? Come on, we're gonna start this year out strong. A special welcome to all of you that are joining us online. This is gonna be a great night. And I just wanna encourage us. I just heard these two words as I was praying over tonight, right here at the beginning. And the two words were this, let go, let go. Because I believe God wants to do some amazing things tonight in your heart. I believe he wants some new things for you, but sometimes we have to let go of some things in order to grab a hold of something new, amen? And so tonight, I don't know what you came in the room with, but if you've got some worry, let it go. If you've got some fear, even in this moment, right at the beginning, you don't have to wait to get in the presence of the Lord because I promise you, he's already here. And so even right now in this moment, as we get started, you can let it go. You can let your fear go. You can let your distractions go. And so if you would just open up your hands if you're comfortable and let's just right here at the beginning do some business with the Lord. If you're watching us online, if you can open up your hands or just getting yourself a posture of surrender to the Lord and just let it go. What do you need to let go of right now? Just give it to Him. Just give it to Him. He wants all that we have, <laughs> our good, our bad, our ugly. He'll take it all. So Jesus, in this moment, we thank you for your presence. We thank you that you want and desire every part of us. Lord, our weakness, our fears, our insecurities. And so Lord, in this moment, at the beginning, even as a part of our worship, we say, God, we give it all to you. We surrender to you. We lean into everything that you have for us in this moment. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly.
in this place Shout if you wanna, shout if you wanna give him thanks Surely the Lord is, surely the Lord is in this place Every blood bought saint, come and praise his name Surely the Lord is, surely the Lord is in this place Shout if you wanna, shout if you wanna give him thanks Surely the Lord is, surely the Lord is in this place Every blood bought saint, come and praise his name Surely the Lord is, surely the Lord is in this place I've wondered why there's an enormous cross in the middle of the platform or maybe you didn't <laughs> but tonight the center of attention is Jesus we are all in need of him we are all desperate for relationship with him to know him and through his suffering the cross his resurrection we can know the Father because He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. That's what the Word says. And in John chapter 12 and verse 32, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. And so tonight we are lifting up the name of Jesus. He will be the center. He will be the focus. And we're gonna praise Him with all of our hearts because he's worthy. And throughout the night tonight, there's, there's segments that are gonna happen where we're gonna start with his birth and then we're gonna to explore his life and worship through what it would be like to have, what it's like to have relationship with Jesus. And then we're gonna worship and remember his death. We're gonna celebrate his resurrection and we're gonna praise him for his reign. There's gonna be art that you'll see on the screen that one of our team members, Kayla, drew, and it's beautiful. And so it's almost like an old movie, you know, where there's scene changes. You'll see the new scene beginning. And I just want you to rest in the fact to know that every part of Jesus is for us. He came so we could know him and have relationship. And so can we pray together? Lord, we give you praise for this time. We celebrate you, we honor you, and we say right now, even with this wooden cross on this platform, what it symbolizes is that you are Lord of this church, you are Lord of this house, and right now, we, we lift you up, and where you are lifted up, you draw all people unto yourself, so you do whatever you want, in your name, amen.
baby boy and keep trading his dire down and wearing humanity from the holy of holies to the dirt of the lowly our savior stepped off his
you just lift up your voice in this place? We praise you, Lord. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Prepare the way of the Lord God. Prepare the way of the Lord God Almighty. There is only one. Lord, you are holy. You are holy.
Come on, sing it. Pour your glory down. Pour your glory down. Let the thirsty drink and say. with this nation we want to see it we want to see you move we want to see you see we're gonna see you move God yeah we're gonna see you move God prophesy we're gonna see you move we're gonna see you move say we're gonna see you move hey we're gonna 
gonna see you move. Hey, we're gonna see you move. Come on, we're gonna see you move. Come on. this room if you have expectation in your heart yes, God. God we thank you you're shifting some things in our lives as we begin to call on your name come on feel this room with his name come on feel this room with his name our expectation is for you our desire is for you, God. Jesus. Jesus. You are all I ever need. My heart desires. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. And I just want to speak the name of Jesus. dark addiction starts to break declaring there is hope and there is free come on church I speak Jesus cause your name is power your name is healing your name is life Shine through the shadows, burn like fire. Come on, y'all. I just want to speak the name of Jesus 
in the darkness over every enemy. Come on. Jesus, for my family, I speak the holy name of Jesus. shame 
There is one who leads me out of darkness, just one name. In your arms, I cannot fall. In your love, I have it all. Cause you're the one that I was born to worship. Just one man. Can we sing it out? Keep singing this in this moment. Keep singing this in this moment. Jesus, only you. Jesus, only you. You're the one that I adore. Jesus, there is no stay in this moment because the Lord is doing some powerful things in the room and sometimes we don't have the time to just sit and respond to what he's doing because see Jesus is a jealous God meaning he's after your whole heart 
He's after you completely in your brokenness, in your humanity. We've been singing about the freedom that he brings. And even as I was looking at the cross, I heard this phrase, he is jealous to remove every mark of the curse from your heart. Listen to that. He is jealous to remove every mark of the curse that is on your heart and is on your soul. And so in this moment, we can see, sing songs and we can be excited, but I want us to take a moment. I wanna give you a moment to respond, to go, Jesus, I'm gonna give you everything. Maybe you're here and you're dealing with shame or there's pain in your life. You can, in this moment, give him your pain. You can, in this moment, give him your shame. And in a moment, we're gonna sing this song again, but I believe even as we were singing earlier, man, there was generational curses being broken. There's generational curses of depression that are being broken over your life right now. There's generational curses of addiction that are being broken over your life right now. Come on, let's step into the faith of what we're singing in this moment. There is power in the name of Jesus. He is a jealous God. He is an all-consuming fire that wants to burn away everything that hinders you and his relationship. So what do you need to give him? What do you need to give him? Your pain, your shame, come on. Give him all your heart in this moment. It's only in Jesus. Life and death in the, in, is in Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Scripture says everything that we need is found in the knowledge of him. Everything that we need, everything that we need for life and godliness is found in him. It's only in Jesus. Come on, let the cry of your heart erupt in this place tonight. We need a new desperation for our Jesus. We need to surrender all. We need to surrender all. Don't hold anything back from him tonight. He held nothing back from us. He gave it all up on the cross for you and I. He gave it all up for you to step into freedom, into wholeness, into healing. And so come on. Jesus, Lord.
a crown of thorns to the one who took the lash and scourge hanging on a cross he was pierced by nails for the sacrifice that has torn the veil we crown you we fall face down Very life away, who took upon himself all our guilt and shame hanging on a cross for the world he loved with his precious blood. Purchased men for God. We crown you. We fall face down. We worship. We all cry out. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. Yes, and we crown you. We fall. All the shame of the cross to the Lamb who was slain as atonement for us, to the Son who overcame all the power of death, we praise. For the stripes, for the wounds, for the beating you bore, for the tears, for the blood that was willingly poured, for the mercy. For majesty of your love To the one who endured All the shame of the cross To the Lamb who was slain As atonement for us To the Son who overcame All the power of death We pray 
there on the cross. I see you, Lord, hanging on the cross, knowing that it's not nails that held you there. It was your love, Lord, your love for the world. So that you can display the love of the Father, you came and you took on my sin, Lord. All the things that I'm so repentant of, the things I'm disgusted of in your presence, the things that only I and you know, Lord, and still you love me, still you chose me, still you died for me. Those stripes on your back were so that I could be healed, so that my son could be healed, my daughter could be healed faithful to the fathers and faithful to the sons you hung on the cross Lord Lord you are worthy to be praised who is worthy to open the scroll only the lamb who was slain before the foundations of the earth you alone are worthy Lord of all praise all adoration Lord we repent of giving our worship to anything other than you we repent of pouring our lives out for anything other than you Lord May the Holy Spirit come into this room and convict us and lead us into the truth that you and you alone are the thing that matters in our lives, Lord. And may the song of our lives be to the one who endured all the shame of the cross, to the lamb who was slain as atonement for us, to the son who overcame all the power of death. We praise you, Lord, for the stripes and for the wounds, for the beating that you bore, for the tears and for the blood that was willingly poured. For the, mas the magical mastery, Lord, of your love. We praise you forever, Lord. We praise you forever, Lord. To the one who endured all the shame of the cross. To the lamb who was slain as atonement for us. Son who overcame all the power of death, we praise for the stripes, for the wounds, for the beating you bore, for the tears, for the blood that was willingly poured, for the merciful, wonderful majesty of your love. Lord, beneath your cross we sing to the one the shame of the cross to the lamb who was slain as atonement for us to the son who overcame all the power of death we praise for the stripes for the wounds for the beating you bore for the tears for the blood that was where
embracing death could not hold Veil tore me for you You silenced the boast of sin and grief The heavens are roar Praise of your glory For you are raised to life
You may be here tonight. <laughs> Somebody's here tonight. <laughs> you may be here and maybe you've never decided to give your life to Jesus. We've been singing about him all night. I know that you sense his presence. The Bible says in Romans 10 verse nine, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you were made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Do you know how you're not made right with God? By being really good, by having it all together, by coming to church, by reading enough of your Bible, by praying with your kids. Those are all good things, but they don't make you right. Believing in Jesus, that he is who he says he is. He is who this book says that he is. And that word believe is not just simply acknowledging the existence of something. It's not like believing in aliens. <laughs> that word believe actually means to entrust yourself to. Have you entrusted yourself to Jesus? Maybe you have in the past, or maybe you've kind of just gone your own way for a little while, but you sense that drawing in your heart that you wanna come back that you wanna fully put your trust in Him, that you wanna believe in Him wholeheartedly. He died for your sins. He hung on that cross. And as they put Him in the grave, He was there for three days, and then He stormed out. The stone was rolled away. He was raised to life to make intercession for us with the Father, that we could connect to the Father, that we could have relationship with Him, that we could know Him, that we don't need to bring a sacrifice of an animal like they used to have to do in the Old Testament, but He is the perfect Lamb. Would you close your eyes? Lord, I pray that you would move on every heart. Show us how we can entrust ourselves to you. If you're here today and you wanna make a decision to put your trust in Jesus, would you just put up your hand? You say, I just wanna put my trust in him. I don't know what all this means, but I know he's real. I believe in him. I wanna receive him. Put my trust. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Come on, be courageous. Tonight is the night. It's a day of salvation. Be courageous. There are hands everywhere. I'm entrusting myself to Jesus. Come on, if you raised your hand, or even if you didn't, let's pray this prayer together. Jesus, I declare your name. I receive you, and I fully entrust myself to you. God, I know I'm gonna make mistakes. I know I don't have it all together, but I believe in you. And I give you my heart in your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on. Let's give the Lord a hand. And I just want to ask, I just want to ask if you're here, and would you be so bold to just raise your hand just one more time and say, I prayed that prayer and I really meant it. Would you just put up your hands? Amen. Amen. Way to go. Thank you, Jesus. If you did raise your hand, we want to be able to connect with you. There's a phone number, and I hope I get this right, Nathan, 71010, and text the word connect. Text the word connect to 71010, and we'll have one of our team reach out to you. We'd love to help you on this journey with Christ, get you a Bible if you need it and just walk with you. So I'm so proud, it's so beautiful. Isn't it amazing to worship the Lord like this? I feel like we just need to leave this thing on the platform, you know? It's all about Him. Thank you, Jesus. We're gonna sing a couple more songs to celebrate His reign. That one. I'll just keep going. I'm messing it up.
on, lift your hands and sing this with us. You are so begin to express your thanks. Just begin to praise. Just let it go. Come on. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on
Come on, let's keep lifting the shout of praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of our praise in this place tonight. We exalt your name, Jesus. We give you the high place. We give you the high place. We give you the high place, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Man, come on. Man, come on. Can we give it up for the Lord one more time? Come on. Man, I love singing about the holiness of the Lord. And maybe you're in this room and you're like, I don't even know what that word means. Ultimately means there's no one like him. There's no one like him. There's no one that can stand against him. There's no one who loves us like he loves us. He is the only true God and he's holy and he's worthy. It was such a joy worshiping with you tonight. And I, I wanna ask our prayer team to come down to the front, but I wanna remind you as we close that, how many of you feel the presence of God in this room right now? I wanna remind you, he's the same God that wants to go to work with you tomorrow. He's the same God that wants to go to school with you tomorrow and you can walk in his presence every moment of every day. It doesn't always feel the same, but I promise you, he wants to walk every moment of every day with you. You don't have to wait till the next night of worship to have an encounter with the presence of God because he's always right there with you, amen? And so let's take what God did in this moment, but let's face this week and let's face tomorrow, let's face this year with the truth and the power of who he is, amen? Amen, amen. Well, I'm gonna close this in a moment of prayer, but a few quick reminders. I know we just fed you spiritually or the Lord fed you. Uh, as you leave tonight, we actually have some snacks out in the foyer and we got to connect with God. We'd love to spend some time. Our staff would love to spend some time with you out in the lobby. So we've got uh, some parlor donuts, which are called crow nuts because they're like croissant dough, but they're donuts. Trust me, they're stinking good. So you wanna get some, but we've got coffee and water out there. So if you can hang out. Uh, also, if you want information about growth path, Growth Path is a four-week class here at Gateway that helps you get connected at Gateway, learn about groups and equip, but also helps you know if you want to get involved in serving. That's what we call uh, serving here, our build team. And so out in the lobby, there's some tables with some balloons. Uh, you can get more information about how to get connected with Growth Path and how to become a volunteer uh, here at Gateway Church, which you might walk into South Lake. You might be like, man, there's volunteers everywhere. They don't need me. We need you. We need more volunteers. We need more people. Uh, there's new people coming all the time here to Gateway Church. And so we know that God God has given you gifts as well, and we want you to be a gift to the people that come here to Gateway Church. So if you want more information about that, you can go out in the lobby. Uh, and I'm gonna pray over us. And after I pray over us, if you responded to Pastor David's call uh, earlier about salvation, we'd love for you to come down. You can text if you don't have time to come down, you don't wanna come down, you can text connect to 71010. But if you wanna come down, our team would love to pray for you, answer any questions you have and help you get connected. Or if you have any other prayer need, then you can come down and we'll stay as long as we need it. If you put your hand on your heart, I wanna to seal what the Lord's done in our hearts tonight. So Lord, we thank you so much for your presence. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving in our lives. Thank you for the freedom that was released in this room. Thank you for the healing that was released in this room. Lord, give us the grace to continue to walk in the power and the truth of who you are, what you wanna do in our lives and through our lives. So seal everything you did in this room tonight. Seal what you did to everyone joining us online, God. We thank you, Lord, for your truth and your power in our lives. I speak your blessing and your favor upon everyone here. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, you can come down for prayer. Have a blessed week. We'll see you out in the lobby.